Okay, here we have J and we have K, they're integers. J, integer, K, integer. J minus K is an even integer. Okay, which of the following must also be even? This, is, this question just screams for plugging in, so we're going to plug in. But let's not be obvious and plug in, let's say, 6 minus 4, meaning two even numbers. Let's think, well, why not two odd numbers? Because when we plug these into the answer choices, whatever works will also have to work for even numbers. If we're left with more than one, then we can actually try even numbers. But something's telling me that the odd numbers are going to eliminate everything. And if we choose even numbers, we'll be left with more than one answer choice. So let's see if that is true. Well, which of the following must be even? J equals 5. Let me bring my k down here. k equals 3. Again, 5 minus 3. This is an even digit. So which of the following is even? I look here. Answer choice A. Well, answer choice A is k. k is 3. A, a is not even. The answer. B is j times k. j times k gives me 15. That is not an even number. C, j plus 2k. j is 5. 2k is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So these are all odd numbers. This is great because we're just looking for the one and the only one, hopefully, that is even. j times k. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus j. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 is an even. Is e an even? j minus k again is 15 minus 2j. 2 times j is 10. 15 minus 10 is 5. That's an odd number. And just like that, there's our answer. Now, had you plugged in even, you would have been left with more than one answer choice. Then you would have had to have resorted to two odd numbers, whether they're 3 and 1, 7 and 5, etc. But in general, it's good to avoid plugging in the number one.